You know? Your, that's a cool, ca cool camera, what is that? Huh? So you got a phone? Yeah. And then this at the same time? Yeah. Where are you guys from? Um, visiting? Yeah. yeah. From where? Well, I came from uh, uh, Venus. Venus? Yeah. Pluto. I'm not going to answer because you got a nice little gang symbol right there. Oh, nice. Yeah, let's, let's look the symbol though. Hey, you want to take your hands out of your pocket, please? Oh, for my safety? Right. Hands out of your pockets, please, for my safety? I'm trying to keep warm. Huh? I'm trying to keep warm. I'm trying to keep warm? How about my safety, though? Safety with what? My, with my safety for what? Safety with what? From you guys. I don't know what you got in your pockets. You got a gun. You got a, you got a, you know, uh, you got a taser. You got a baton. I don't. So, you, you, you know, you guys want to walk up to people, tell us to take our hands out of your pockets? Why don't you take your hands out of your pockets? Anything. Say what? I'm not telling you anything. That's because you have no right to tell me to do anything. I don't work for you. You work for me. You got any drugs on you? How do I know that? Can we search you? Funny, right? See how ridiculous it sounds coming from somebody? Kind of, but what's going on? Why are you going to give us a hard time? Giving you a hard I'm asking questions. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're just questions. Okay, that's cool. Yeah. You, get, you guys walk up and ask people questions all the time, right? Sometimes, yeah. Is, it, is that giving them a hard time? Uh... No. Maybe not for an investigation. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, we're not doing an investigation. Huh? Yeah, we're we're actually investigative journalists. So. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's. Oh, he's, nice. he's a he's a he's a good and hardcore investigator. Yeah, I can tell. He is. He is. Uh, actually, he's actually busted at least six cops with drugs on him. Really? Yeah. yeah. I got a cop the other day, um, not only talking on her phone, but she was reading a magazine. You'd be surprised. On many... duty, a yeah. sergeant. Which is um, the LAPD. No, this was uh, my home, my hometown of Massachusetts. Oh really? Yep. Is it is it is it really surprising to you though that we quite often do find like burner guns and, and drugs and stuff on cops? Or? I don't know. There's maybe in other states, but here, not not so much here. Not so much because you know we have cameras now. Okay. Body one. You, you have body camera? No, then the process. Oh, okay. yeah. What department are you guys? LAPD. LAPD. Yeah. So you don't have any burn yeah. burner guns? No, no. Yeah, no burner guns on you. Okay. okay. I'm sure you understand though, we're just out trying to Yeah, you have the right to, that's yeah, cool. Just trying to search and make sure everybody's obeying the law. Yeah. No drugs or anything you shouldn't have. No hand drugs. grenades, rocket no. launchers. No, none of that. None of that. Cool. We don't even get issued that. <laughs> What's that? We don't get issued that. Um that's like the military. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I know, but you never know these days, you know, this day and age, yeah. people just getting their hands on stuff they shouldn't have. Maybe other police departments too, because I know like like other countries they have that stuff. Yeah, but you know in this country we, we uh, police forces have uh, up armored vehicles that they drive around in. They have what? Up armored vehicles that they drive around in. Armored same vehicles? Up armored vehicles. The same up armored vehicles I rode in in Iraq. Really? Yeah. What what, what state has that? A lot of states. I yeah, believe California yeah, yeah, yeah. is actually one of them. There's which, a video. Which California has that? They're, they're getting them from the federal government. Yeah. And they're, they're calling it free. But nothing's free. Oh, you free, know I right? heard that. Yeah, they're, they're offering that. But right. I, don't, I don't agree with that. No, I think that's too much. Well, here's the, here's the thing: is some departments are actually using them to go out on patrols and pulling people over in them. Yep. I don't agree with that. I don't. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, no uh, word of a lie, man. There's a video you online. Know, you, you can see it. I've heard it, like the army surplus. Yeah. Like, I don't agree with. No. I think that some of those they were giving to like uh, like school police or something like that. Mm -hmm. Now let me ask you guys this question: How do you feel about officers walking around with the vests on the outside? Boots bloused in, tucked in, looking like they're part of the military. Do you think that's right? You know, I can't really speak for those departments, but it depends on their... I think they're trying to get rid of something. No, no, I'm asking your personal opinion on personal? that. Personal? Yeah. It depends where they work at. Maybe if it's like a bad zone or not. But, but if, you, if you go to like a school or like university, I don't think you should. You should just look like your regular uniform. You know what I'm saying? Yep. No, no. Do you agree with that? I, I agree with you 100. Um, percent You know, I, I don't they, think you should look like military. No, not at, at all. Military, you know yeah. what I mean? It's, I mean, it's police force. You know what I mean? The people should. You know, like how we just walked up to you. People should be able to do that. When you're when you're up armored like that, 
people don't want to approach. It's intimidating. It's very intimidating. You don't want to be intimidated. Yeah, we've, got, we've got a guy that I go out with all the time and do this, and he wears a bulletproof vest, and he dresses actually pretty much like a cop except without the badge. Mm -hmm. he'll, he'll have his gun on him and his bulletproof vest and go around, and the cops tell him, you look intimidating. He's like, I look exactly like you. <laughs> so you you know what I mean? You, yeah. you see how it's like, yeah. wait a second. I see you guys coming. Yeah, and, and then, you know, the whole aggressive, well, what are you doing? What, what do you have? What are you doing? Like, mm -hmm. we see that all the time. I got so a video. We don't, of, we don't need, mean to be dicks, but it's kind of like when you, somebody walks up to you, you know. Right. We don't know you guys. We don't know who the hell you are. We don't know how if you're nice guys, if you're good guys, if you're bad guys. And to walk up and just be like. So what do you think? Are we cool guys? I'd say I, so. I think you are. You know, I, I mean, I realized that we came up on you a little hard. and You took it. You were yeah, very professional. You just stood. walk up on someone like that. I got nothing but like, respect hey, for the, that. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> no, no. Nothing like that. <laughs> yeah. It's. No, I got a, I got a video on a, of a um, cop, me, just standing on the sidewalk recording him. Within a minute of me being there, he accuses me of being there to intimidate him, a victim, and one other person. Gets on his radio and tells the radio that I'm there to intimidate him and one other person. Accuses me of reaching for his taser and then friggin' tries to run me off the whole place. Where was this? This was in, in the same town. Massachusetts. That's a whole different world out there. Oh, dude, it's fucking, it's a hellhole there. <laughs> I got arrested last Friday for filming in a parking garage. No. Yep. Massachusetts. Yep. There's a girl here though who got arrested just down the street, ten minutes from here, at a DMV for uh, video recording. Yep. What they say? It's like, well, what's the reason? This, they didn't like it. They, they didn't. They didn't want her there. The, the video is up on YouTube already. It's amazing. You just cut them loose and everything. And oh. Arrest. Well, they they technically placed her under arrest, but by the time the uh, supervisor got there. So. Yeah, we like to go around and act like cops to cops. So. You guys should be cops. No. 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 Why not? No. Um, let me ask you this: What do you think about ISIS? Well, it's bad, right? Yeah, I think so. Well, Would you join them to fix them? Would I join them to fix them? Yeah. Exactly. I'm not going to join the police. No. <laughs> so you think we're bad? No, I think that you're probably very good people. Yeah. Um, I think that honestly, like I know you guys here. Nazi. Let me ask you. Let me ask you this. I, I know you hear. Is the police the necessary? Time. Yes. Yes, absolutely. But then you want to make sure the bad cops you. Yeah. Right. Well, right. Yeah. no, don't take this the wrong way. But that symbol right there, to me, that symbol signifies um, a gang mentality, meaning that you think that you have to protect yourself from us. No. You know, I'm not saying you specifically. I'm saying the person that 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 has that. Now I understand the purpose of it. You know, you're support you're supporting your so, brothers in blue. Representation. Exactly, I understand that. But what it's come to to the public seeing it as right. is a blanket. It's a safety blanket for you guys. Now say I, I see it as government propaganda too. That too. Now say he and I'm I'll not saying that you do this, video. but let's say that he <laughs> decides that he's gonna beat the bag out of him for filming him and you just stand there and watch it. That's the thin blue line covering. Thanks for bringing that up. You know what I'm saying? And again, I'm not saying that you guys would do that. You guys seem like a couple of stand-up you guys. You guys were military? I was. Yeah, where? What service? Uh, Marines. Okay, 13 months service. in Fallujah. Yeah. Thank you. What about you? No, I was a contractor. Contractor? Nah, you... <laughs> <laughs> it was... <laughs> he, he focused more on growing the beard, and I focused on keeping it off. No. No, we, were, we actually just came into town to actually do videos. Cool. Mm -hmm. I hope you guys can get some good stuff. Yeah. We've already gotten yeah, we quite got a few. Good you know what's really good is if you go... This is one of the best uh, positive police interactions we've had in a long time. So. Mm -hmm. Well, our job is... Well, you know, here we, we're kind of here, all the stations. So yeah. we, we, there's a bunch of us here. We basically 24-7 coverage for all the stations. Because it's kind of like a protection from all the union stations, from the bus and other trains. Because you know, this station got maybe six months ago was one of uh, like the bomb threat here. Really? Yeah. Yeah. People got to quit doing that because use terrorism as a reason to to take away everyone's rights. And it's like, what do you guys think? I'm of not scared the, of terrorists. I'm scared the of gun violence. All the student protests. Um, here's what I think about that. Um, well, we have the Second Amendment. We have the right to protect ourselves. Um, the mainstream media needs to stop putting all this fucking propaganda in people's minds that guns are bad, guns are what's creating problems. It's guns are, it's the people. You need to better train people. Um, you need to do better background. I mean, yes, there's background checks, but I mean, how, how much do they really tell? They don't tell you your actual full mental capacity. They only tell you, oh, I've never had, a, had a... Some states don't have a strict disqualification. <laughs> 
Yeah. Because we're pretty strict here about the government. I'm all about he's free is free. Oh. I, I See, wanted, I'm, I'm wanted, from Massachusetts. Totally you can't get it. I, 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 I was in the military. It's hard to get one. New Mexico. Ridiculous. Mexico, you can't have guns so Florida in Florida, Mexico, is Florida is easy. Right? It's only the cartels have them. Florida, I don't know, man. Texas, Texas, Texas is easy. Texas is easy. I know in New Hampshire they can carry on the Constitution now. All right. Yep. Arizona also. Arizona you know also. Today they just had a bunch of mass all the students like. Uh, yeah, they yeah. did the walkout. Here's the thing about that though is uh, if you go and you look at some of the Twitter feeds for some of the kids, the um, administration made them walk out. Um, you know what I mean? Well, public school and it's uh, it, the the root of the problem is so much deeper than these are just symptoms of problems. Government school is the problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It shouldn't exist. Well, let me ask you guys this. In your time in schooling and your time in the academy, did you ever learn about the 32 human rights? No. Do you know any of the 32 human rights? No. Give, so me, you, give, me, give me a quick run. A quick, a quick one? Yeah. Uh, the right to, to have food, the right to have water, the right to have clothing, the right to be um, right. fairly comfortable. Um, not total comfort, but to, you know. 32. There's 32 basic human rights. So I can Google that. You can Google that. Well, we gotta get going. Nice to meet you guys. Hey, yeah, you too. Sure. Name? Amoris. Amoris? Cool. You guys be safe, all right? Free Murado. Thank Free you, sir. Partner Street. Is it? Yeah. I thought it was Alvarado. No, my <laughs> 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 Today we're <laughs> Also, we're good. Yeah. I'm sorry I came out to the way I said it. just. It's the initial name, when we come up, it, it, it's, a, it's a poke and a prod, hey, and, and, and you, you handed yourself this, uh, above like and beyond, man. Yeah, I like no, no, you, you don't have to be, you chose to be, and that's what be we respect. Safe, though. Okay. That's what you know what I'm saying? Yeah, depending on where you're on, be safe. We're, we will. We're, we're ready to protect and serve and defend ourselves. Yep. How long are you uh, down for? A week. A week? Yep. That's good. Yep. Yeah. Enjoy. You too, guys. Thanks, gentlemen. Have a good one. So don't, go, so don't go to Massachusetts. I mean, come. It's a nice state, but don't don't expect any friggin' real rights, you know. <laughs> Have a good night, gentlemen. And that's what two professional cops are like. Um, we came at them a little hard at first, and they maintained their ground. They maintained their professionalism. They answered our questions. They they engaged us professionally. And that's what we like to see, right, James? Yep. Maybe, uh, we'll at least wait for a... <laughs> Fuck me.